Well, hello everybody. This is Lisa Nicholas, writer for a year. And this is a somewhat emotional post because this place behind me, the Charles View, was my home when I came to Canada for a good few years. And this was where I first decided um, to pack up my day job and travel across Canada by bus, um, pretty much everywhere from uh, Newfoundland to Churchill to everywhere. We, I went everywhere and that was west of Wawa. Now, it took about four, maybe five drafts before the book was even um, considerable for publishing. But still, this is where that dream was born. Now, unfortunately, as is the way with most of Toronto, the Charles View is going to be torn down and replaced with a 55-story condo. So I thought I would come here and pay homage to this place that was my home and welcomed me. Um, and actually, I remember very, very clearly having that moment of, I'm going to pack in my job and I'm going to go off and write a novel. Word to the wise, don't do that. Although maybe, word to the wise, do that. Because it was a fabulous trip. The book was a, is a treasure in my life and I never would have got it had I done that bold, brave, daring and quite foolhardy thing. So I'm standing here to thank the Charles View for being my home and to say, I'm sorry that you're gonna be replaced by a 55 story condo. Thank you. So I thought I would just add a very quick PS and show west of Wawa and say that were it not for that trip and that wild and bold leap that this book and probably the others wouldn't exist. So sometimes um, living the dream is not exactly the same as winning the lottery. You don't feel the effects immediately. It's a lot of hard slog and rejection along the way and rewriting and hard work. However, it is incredibly worth doing. So I had to add that. Thank you.